So if you've watched any of my other videos, you've learned how to set up Kali Linux on a VM. You've learned how to do a scan, how to do a modified scan. Today I'm going to be covering how to generate a report. Now this could actually make you some money. As a service to businesses, you could offer vulnerability assessments. This will help you generate a report, a nice clean report, and that can be a deliverable. Most companies in the United States are willing to pay $2,000 for a vulnerability assessment. So just to make that clear, this is not a pen test. It's a vulnerability report and vulnerability assessment. It's good to have some knowledge about vulnerabilities so you can help discuss it with them, but the report tells you everything you need to know. So you can use that information, make some income by offering it as a service. You could also just use this if you're a small business in order to conduct your own vulnerability assessments and maybe meet local requirements or regulations. Let's get started. Okay, so now you can see that this local test has completed. This is kind of like the video I showed you a couple weeks ago. If we go into the reports. We can see we had 17 medium, one low, 219 log. We go click on the results up here at scan results. These are some of the keywords regarding the vulnerabilities. It looks like it found that Plex server. Here's the expired certificate. Now these look like a downloads available. There's a vendor fix download and update this. So the solution here is a vendor fix. There's an update for it. It says please see the references for information. You go down here and it's just warning you if you follow a link it's on a third party site. This tells you what you should upgrade to. So in each one of these you'll see the recommended fixes. What the impact is, how it was detected. This one requires a mitigation. A configuration change and you go into the configuration file and change it so it doesn't allow weak ciphers again there's more references down here you can follow those for more information these symbols show that these are mitigations and the other ones these are vendor fixes so downloads or updates there's a workaround for this so let's take a look at that and the key size if it's less than 2048 it's considered breakable. Here in the insight it says it's breakable by a really powerful attacker like a government. So there's probably a lot of resources needed to break this type of key. And so if you're recommending to an organization, you might say this is, you know, not the most dangerous risk, but there is still a risk there. And here's references for this. It's just saying you could use a stronger key that uses better encryption. Now if you wanted to run a report and provide this you can go to scans reports now if you if you fix some of these and rescanned it in say next month you could do this comparison and you can see what changes were made in between the two scans so if you had any fixes that took care of some of the issues it'll help highlight those and if you have any new vulnerabilities it'll help highlight those as well now if you want to actually download this report and you click on this report Here's your results. You could then download the report. Here's the filter right now. We could do a PDF. That's how I typically would give a customer a report. Okay. Give it some time to generate this report. And if you're doing this for a customer, you can then send them the report and then go over the report line by line with them or have them get back to you with any questions that they have. And you can use those results and recommendations from the report to kind of guide them in the right way to fix these issues. I'm going to save file. Let's open this and look at it. And this is what your report looks like. So this is what you could actually get to them. You could hand this right to them as a report. Tells, here's list the host real quick, the severity. This is only listing hosts with at least one medium. It helps keep the report more clean. You could change the report so that it also lists lower ones, but most people are going to want to know the medium and high risk. And this is a report. This is what it would look like. And they can jump through this report to the different hosts. So if you just generate this report, we leave this all in here. I didn't add notes or overrides or anything, but we'll just leave this how it is. Let's just say we want to do a PDF. Save the file, okay. It downloads it. We're gonna open this. 
and you can see we have a lot of pages a lot of these vulnerabilities are logged now here's just an example these log are not really these are just normal operations if it's a vulnerability level log in severity it's not really that much of an issue usually it's not too much of a threat i would recommend if you're doing a report for a company to clean this up as much as possible i wouldn't even report the log information you can ask them if they want it but it just basically makes this more difficult to read most organizations are going to be interested in medium and high vulnerabilities and that's what i would recommend they start out fixing so in order to clean this report up what you do is you click up here on the edit filter we're going to do high medium you could do low if you want but usually these aren't very much of a risk here's where you could adjust your quality of detection this is like how much it believes that it's an accurate vulnerability and not a false positive we'll just call this high and critical or high and medium all the solution types okay so let's store filter as i'm going to store this filter as high and medium so next time i can just click a drop down that says high and medium as a filter let's update this this is the high and medium filter now we have 16 hosts out of 254 we have 17 results out of 263 let's download this report again we'll do a pdf these don't really matter if you have notes they'll show up but click ok now let's open this we'll save it okay we'll open it much cleaner we have one two three four hosts we have four hosts and we have 17 medium we didn't have any high and low log false positives we didn't include in this report this is a lot cleaner a lot less pages that they have to go through and it gives a summary this is basically the same thing as what you saw in the web interface except for it's in a report that you can go over with them and it's a deliverable report that you can deliver to the organization so i hope that helps you out if there's any specific things that you want me to go over please leave a comment let me know i'll try to put that in my next video i don't know what you want me to cover unless you tell me so leave comments let me know what kind of videos you're looking for this here shows you how to run a scan how to customize a scan how to run it view the results and print a report a deliverable report that you could deliver to a customer you could do this as a security vulnerability assessment possibly make some money and, and have it be a service to other organizations thanks for watching please consider liking and subscribing i really appreciate it and have a great day